In this video, I am going to discuss about contents method in Csoft.net. So, what the contents method? So, it is used to check service string occurs within a string. So, suppose this is add here a string, and I want to check add here service string at or uh, inside to of a string. So, add here we need to use contents method. So, contents method. Add here it return true and false value. So if the sub string percent in a string, then return true or else not percent, then return false. So add here if sub string is found a string, it returns true as false. Now here let's execute and check the output first. You can see I have taken a string time variable s1 and here this value that I initialize. Now here S2 H and S and here S3 and C. And here this time I have taken character variable S4 and here initialize L. So add here console.write S1 dot contains so S2. So S2 is H is there and here S1. S1 is hello. So S2 is the percent. So add here H percent so that it will return true. Here it's returning to now here after S1 contains S3. So S3 value is now NC. And here it check NC is there any NC, no any NC so that here it's returning false. Here after S1 contains 4. So char tab you can use char also here single or float. Now here uh, so S1 value is this all and here contains S4. So S4 value is now L. So L contains S1. So and here there is a L so that here it's returning true. So the main purpose of and here contains method we can check is there any or uh, and here substring present in a string. So and here I have used NC. If you give and here there is a C and N. So if you want to add here, just write N C. Okay. Now if you add square to then here you can find or oh, this value is now N C percent N C substring percent in the string. Now here add square and check the output. Add here N C is now N C substring point in the string. So then it's a returning to. So add here uh, by using this add here or uh, the main purpose of contents method we can check add here or uh, sub string percent in a uh, string or not. So here if that percent then that return true or as false. Suppose if I give add here like uh, 67. So 67 is not percent inside the string so that it will return add here false. So add here s1 dot contains s2. So 67 contains s2. So add here it's not true. It will check one by one. S1 value is now hello and c and n5. And here s2 value is 67. One by one check it's not present and here it's a returning form. So this is a small topic but very important. You should you know, know about that. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it is over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.